Commission has categorically stated that this time round it means business when it comes to the enforcement of the mandatory model code of conduct as political parties gear themselves up for the run-up to the elections. As the Commission announced the poll schedule last week, it declared that the model code of conduct came into force immediately. This week, the Election Commission has come out with its recipe of do's and don'ts for the electronic media as a tool for election telecasts. It bars the coverage of any election speech or material that may incite violence on a religious, caste or language basis. The code seeks, among other things, a fair and balanced coverage of campaigning. Although the surveys have in the past come in for criticism because of the manner in which they have not been able to accurately predict final election results, the truth is that such polls are getting more and more scientific and have today come to be accepted by the media. In fact, even as the next general elections are less than 30 days away, most newspapers and magazines have commissioned opinion poll companies to get data on what the voter thinks and wants. In the final analysis, the answer to that question is what endows elections with that degree of suspense and uncertainty.